here to answer that question is body language expert Judy James. Hi, it's good to Hi. see you. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Should we just pick up to start with on the Greenpeace thing, given that I was just speaking yes. to the lady from Greenpeace? How did she handle that? Uh, she handled it well, but she's Prime Minister. You know, everybody was saying, oh, she stayed calm. They should be throwing firecrackers at her like they do with the uh, police horses. Mm. People shouldn't react. I think, Kay, she actually became better after it. I think the applause that she got here on the back of it, it seemed to break the ice a bit for her. So the start of the speech, she was not particularly good, but she did improve after this, so I think it actually did her a few favours. Although she did say get them removed, which I wasn't sure that was... That sounds a bit like, uh, was it the Red Queen out of Alice in you know, off with their heads or yeah. something like that? So, <laughs> I use that every day, get them removed. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me more generally about um, what her body language. She did she look quite stiff to start with. I yeah. mean, the walk-on is always massively important, isn't it? It is, um, and never done well. I mean, I, the, the smiles that they were wearing on arrival, it looked like everybody had been kind of, you know, you must smile so we've got this overkill smiles going on um the walk-on is absolutely so hard i wouldn't envy anyone doing that i i always say jacket and pants might help a bit with the walk-on but no why, why is that it, it just those dresses are so awkward anyway they're very limiting but um she clearly likes them um yeah i thought at the start you're gonna have to do a bit of fracking to find her charisma, aren't you, really? I mean, it, it, it's well hidden. And this was probably the worst bit, um, as you say, quite robotic. The smiles didn't look quite genuine. We got a lot. She's, she's selling herself as a very strong woman. Um, her body language, to a certain extent, is, is self-heckling on that one because she, she stands like that a lot. Now, um, it's called the upturned V under the armpit. I think I've told you about this before. <laughs> it, for the it benefit should... of those who don't know, yeah. yeah, for, for, those, yeah. for those at home. Um, it, it's a gap under the armpit and the shoulders down where we feel really powerful, really confident. We have that gap. Unfortunately, when we don't feel that confident, the arms come in, the elbows and the arms come in against the torso in a self-hug. And that's when you get these odd hand gestures. So she did some empty embrace that, work quite well with the arms out. But this kind of thing, and particularly with these very anxious, spiky fingers, um, she managed to look quite confident, but these would be little giveaways, maybe, that, that would tell me that she's not quite as confident mm. if she's looking. She... I do that, though, to hide my bingo wings. <laughs> You have no <laughs> bingo wings. I mean, but isn't that why some people do that? No, I, funnily enough, and this is going to... If you are, but even there, you're not, you're not self-hugging. If you've got it there, that's fine. I mean, yeah, if you really had bingo wings, you'd have to do that because they'd be like <laughs> holding around. But um, no, she also, with her body language and the way that she was speaking as well, she's channeling Thatcher still. Mm. Um, I'm wearing a high street dress. Good idea? With what? A high street dress. No dress. I mean, I, I don't get the dresses, I'm afraid. I mean, I, I don't meet many women in business that still wear a dress. I, I, as I say, a, a nice jacket would be good. Um, a, all of this kind of gesticulation works quite well. We got that. In fact, this was her best bit. I think she's really good buddies with... She is. They went to the university of, together. She was getting a really good feedback there. Yeah. From the other ones, it was... What um, about the... Oh, yeah, I love that one. Oh, it's so cool, you know, like, uh, um, I, you know, any, when you do that, that, yeah. that always looks like a bit of a threat. That was James it? Cleverly, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, you know what he's like? He's always so cool, isn't he? Yeah, but, he so... was certainly... I mean, he carried it off well, that has to be said. He, he? he was it giving off. her a little bit of confidence, wasn't he? Uh, uh, yeah, it was... It, again, it was overkill, though, really. Um, this was afterwards when she came off. Yeah, I'm Not very, me. very glad that we didn't get the kiss on stage with, with the husband. I wouldn't have liked that one. And, I mean, it was very... She just about put one arm round his neck. Absolutely fine. Uh, you don't want those big... Do you remember when they used to kiss on the lips yes. and things like that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't really want that. This, uh, this is the invisible brick gesture. Now, this is the other one that worries me slightly because she uses it a lot and she used it a lot in the conference. If I'm defining a problem to you, that's absolutely fine because that's actually showing you that I understand the problem. But she never gets to what I would call the solution body language, which should be a, a little bit of a precision gesture at the end of it. So that implies that she knows the problems that she's inherited. But I'm waiting patiently. She's doing it again, though. Yeah, yeah, all the time. Yeah. She did it all the way through the debates. 
the bricks were being moved from side to side. I mean, she's really on a built. She probably used a real brick there, but... Um, but what I want from somebody who's a leader that knows exactly how they're going to solve it should be at some stage, problem, 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 what we're going to... And that, that small, subtle gesture will imply that, yes, we actually do have the solution. And then it's all about the science of sensation, which is not really what she's doing, but how she makes the audience feel. And when you see somebody that does that kind of gesticulation, you feel that quite inspired that they do know what they're up to, even if you don't understand it yourself. Mm. Any sign of the power thumb? Oh, we got the... Not only was she channeling Thatcher with the speaking in groups of three, you know, great, this, great, that, great, the other. She did that about four times. I mean, that, that's so old, that technique. It always gets applause. But then she brought out the, the Tony Blair thumb of power. I mean, how long have I been moaning about that one? A lot. <laughs> A lot. A lot. <laughs> it should go. It should be gone. It should be gone like she dismissed the green pieces, you know, let, let it drop. It's not a good sign anymore. Yeah. But um, finally, I mean, as an op sum, she did well. She did better than I thought she was going to. Okay. I, I, a bit of charisma still needs... She needs to play to her own strengths rather than trying to be other people. And then I think, in that Denise Kofi and around that time, I think we began to see some genuine lose trust charisma coming out. OK, great to talk to you. Thank you. It's always good to have you in. Thank you for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you.